in the rivers but it will certainly take fish in the loss as well. I do know many friends that use this uh, practically the whole season. They just change the colour to suit. Um, this is a colour that works well. Basically who I'm using is a Camasan. It's a B170 size 14. Thread is in tan. This is a uni thread in 8 Now we just simply start with thread at the eye. Just quickly run the thread down. Nice space of thread down the hook shank. And then, just before it goes round the bend, just remove the base piece away and get ready to tie in our dubbing. Now, there's a f you could use many dubbins. One of my favourites is this one, the Life Cycle. This one here, uh, it's made by Wopsy. And the colour is ginger. So, that's the caddest done. Now all I do is cut the corner off the packet and Tease it out, it's very easy. And dubbing, dubbing it on is, is easy as well. You just basically have your anchor point as your finger and thumb is holding the dubbing. And these finger and thumb, your right hand in my case, I just spin it one way, and this will obviously roll it or take it around the, the thread. Now you need the anchor point, that point at the bottom, so that it doesn't, that you've got something to wind on to. Now to get the anchor point the other way, meaning you get it started and then you can twist on to it, tighten it up, just like I'm doing at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is quickly run up two thirds of the way and then come back down just to form a nice caddis type shape body, stretching the dubbing out as I go. And there we are. And this way you'll tighten the dubbing up, or you make it more robust anyway that point and then you just remove it to my way the excess. Now you can rub your fingers through it which will bring out some of the fibres, give it more bug like body. There we are. Now for the wing I'm just going to use an elk here. It's a natural colour. Just bring it out straight out from the, the skin. And you want to trim it right close to the skin itself. So when you come in, just trim it right down. Don't trim it halfway up. Because when you go to get back some more, these half cuts will just get in the way. Better throw them away altogether. Now, just roll your fingers. And this will open out the fibres. You want to remove any broken or any fine under fur. There's fine under fur in that. You want to remove that. Now you could use a small comb or a brush or something. But that should do it. Then what I'm going to do is tips. Natural points first. Into the stacker. And then tap it on your desk. And this should line up the ends for you. Just get another right tap. It's even better. There we are. All lined up. Into our finger and thumb over the, the area we're going to be tying it. Now, the length you're looking at least the length of the hook tied on, which will take it over the back so that goes into our finger and thumb. And then you want to trim this here. I'm doing it so you can see it. Normally, I would trim it over the bin. But anyway, that's us ready. Now, we want to keep these fibers on the top so hold them nice and tight and then like pinching the thread turn as you go down like a pinching loop just catch these in really nice and tight make sure they're, they're secure and then I'm still holding the wing as you can see I'm just going to lower it slightly just by drawing the fibres to the, to the area I've tied it in just sort of creasing it and then slightly pressing and you'll see how that lowers the wing gets it sitting nice just like the caddis now if you want to get it, if you're just going to basically make a small card, a, you could put some dubbing on at that point. But this style, this fly, is renowned, well, known for the, 
the foam over the eye. And this is this foam is actually plaster, so it's a close cell foam from Vineyards. And what I do is just simply comes in a block. You can cut it, just cut a piece a piece, a piece off, and then just uh, you just cut a length, around about three four mil in this size. Of and fly. then to get a taper, you can either break it off, which will give you a so a slight tapered kind of like like a cut if you want to call it. And I usually just then catch it on. And then wind towards the eye, just using the tips of your fingers to control the turns and keeping it on the top. Now once you get right at the eye, not on top of it but just up close to it, get some more of your dubbing. Just again lightly dub it onto your thread and then come back up forming the thorax. Now watch your wing. Just keep a hold of your wing at this point. Just come all the way up. See where you are. Yeah, it's fine. Then you can bring this over. Slight stretch, a couple of turns. It will throw the wing a wee bit, but don't worry, bring it back up. And then what I like to do is get some, this is Loctite super glue. Just run it on the thread. Two to three turns, and then what finish? Three turns. Get the thread nice and tight, then trim away the thread. Come up, straight cut across the back. It's about like a mill, see a millimeter or so from the tying in area, and then there we are. And that's basically Roman Moses, Berlin Cadis one of the patterns, so just change the colour to suit yourself. Very simple to tie.